Say. Certainly. I... In that case... Surely... I need a moment to think. I lad. And so... Hmm... I feel this in my gut. It is time to cast our votes. We face a difficult decision. Do we surrender? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. I wholeheartedly agree. I'm with you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We require Hyzan's protection. Painful as it is, we must surrender the Roselle to Hyzan.
we will relinquish the Roselle and the Woolfort domain to Hyzant. So it is decided. We must act to secure Hyzant's aid, whatever the cost. <gasps> Let us begin the arrangements at once. Oft, the only path available to us is a treacherous one. Serenoa journeys home to convince the Roselle living in his domain that they must return to Hyzant where their kin live in servitude. Only by doing so can he win the trust of the goddess and ensure the future of his name. A duty which has proven to be one full of unsavory compromises. The Wolforts have departed on their mission. Do you truly believe they will return the Roselle to us? Of course. Young Lord Serenoa is brimming with promise, promise which I am certain he shall fulfill. Hyzant itself has promising youths. Perhaps it is time they relieve the old of their burdens. You need only say the word, and I shall gladly lead our nation forward. Regardless, young men are often led astray by their scruples, especially when placed in a difficult position. I have sent him guidance. A man of some standing, though recently reduced. He will help Lord Serenoa see the righteous path. Him? Well, I suppose if it was a surfeit of scruples you feared, you chose wisely. I cannot help but meddle in my old age. When you have gained the experience I have, perhaps you will understand. And so the pressing question, how do we convince the Roselle to follow us? We avoid force by all means. However long it takes, we must resolve this peacefully. I'm glad we agree on that point. These negotiations will be a delicate matter. Measure your every word carefully. I know where the hall is. One castle is so very much like the other. Well, well, my old friends. It has been entirely too long. Lord Silvio, you're alive! It takes more than a little political upheaval to fell the head of a high house. Unless, like our dear Landroy, you throw your life away in vain glory. Our domain may have been taken from us, but so long as I still breathe, House Telior stands proud. He comes with the hero's bane in tow. Don't take it personal. I'm just on a job. Lord Silvio hired my services. And they've offered you safe haven as well. Indeed. And I had been tasked by Minister Edor with helping you make the Roselle see reason. Just like old times, eh? The High House is once again working in accord. It seems we are not entirely trusted. We thank Minister Edor for his consideration and you for traveling so far. However, we intend to settle this matter with words, not swords. I'm afraid it is too late for that. I tried to make the Roselle see the wisdom of the goddess's command, but can you believe their impudence? They struck out at me! What did you do, Silvio? He thought to take all the glory for himself. But his little encounter made him see the wisdom in Sharon. Hyzant is testing our loyalty, and the outcome will determine our survival. We must act before we are stamped out. Do not fear. With our forces combined, an entire legion of Roselle could not hope to stand against us. 
Ah, oh. my lord, it seems our already delicate situation has become even more perilous. Perhaps so, but we mustn't abandon a moderate approach yet. I did not think we would return under such dark circumstances. My last memory of this place was such a happy one. They welcomed us with open arms. Everyone was in such high spirits. Only because it served them at the time, I'm sure. The Roselle have ever been ruled by Hyzant. It's time for them to accept the duty fate has assigned them. If Hyzant's rule was just and fair, then they would not have fled from it, and House Wolfort would not have sheltered them 30 years ago. That was 30 years ago. Who can House Wolfort protect now but themselves? Only the strong can protect their freedom, their pride, their lives. Sir Maxwell speaks the truth. In this world, the weak must serve the strong, and so now Glenbrook must serve. Even if, at times, we find our tasks distasteful. If the Roselle must lay the blame somewhere, it should be at the feet of the royal family. Just so. What suffering have my people endured for my weakness? They've come! You are more brazen in your betrayal than I would have believed, Wolforce. We're here to parlay, Jerome. Nothing else. <laughs> you have a strange notion of parley, my lord. Usually, it is not heralded by murder. Silvio, what did you do? Only what needed to be done. They wouldn't have listened to anything but force. Now, Rufus, let us make them see the merit in our argument. I always have preferred to let my weapons do the talking. We'll die before we lay eyes on the source again. We will protect this village with our lives. Curses. Understood. My shield is impregnable. I shall bring victory. This land is our home, and we'll defend it until the very last of us falls. Did you hear that? Seems we have no choice but to oblige you. No, I will not have blood spilled needlessly. <laughs> Let's see how that works out for you, young lord. I see a path to victory. This must work. Your orders? Come get me. 
You won't. I have to do this. Let's play. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. All by my design. For victory! Here I come. Not another step! Forward! Now I end this! Allow me. Shall we begin? Go quick! Splendid! There is no mercy on the battlefield. You'll be fun to kill. I stand ready. Maybe next time. For my people! Allow the sound strike. Sound strike. Shall we dance? into my wiles. I shall protect you. Strike true! Charge! Dig off! Together! I have to do this. I will end this. This battle is ours. From where shall we strike? Death from above! Oh, curses! I... How did it come to this? You only slaughtered them that deserved it. Welcome to the way of the world, boy. You are irredeemable. You will never have our home! Let us pry out their weakness. Tell me who to kill. Let me heal your wounds. My apologies. 
Are you in need? On guard! You ravenous wolves! Just you wait. This war is senseless. I will end this. <laughs> now what to do? Think you can catch me? Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Look carefully. For victory! Take that! Let us pry out their weakness. We must stay vigilant. <laughs> now what to do? Let me show you, you what I've learned. Thing. With the powers yeah. in me. Oh, careless. Time to take flight. Defeat is not an option. Ugh, Let me I help! I see right through you. Is this it for me? Nice try. We have not come to fight, Jerome. Please, you must listen. Apologies, my lady. But your actions and your words seem to be at odds with one another. Ha! Who's next? Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. Thank you. Ah! Ha! This hurts <laughs> once more. I cannot fail my people here. We must regroup. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. It ends here. My turn. You don't stand a chance. I see a path to victory. I will end this. Stay right there! Choices, choices. You won't know up from down. For the honor of House Wolfort. Now I that hit the mark. This battle is ours. This is now. Ah! Nice fighter. Tell me who to kill.
too easy. Suffer. At your command. On guard! I shall do what I can. Your wounds are here. On my honor as the dawn speak. Ah! Charge! Ah! My lance strikes true! There is no mercy on the battle. I fight for peace. Shall we dance? It's been fun! Forward! I won't give in. Lend me your wings, Gloopy! I will end this. Allow me. Try this. Tell me who to kill. I stand ready. On guard! I shall do what I can. I see a path to victory. Let me show you what I've learned. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. My turn. Time to work. I won't lose. Defeat is not an option. Let's play. You won't know up from down. I won't give in. So nice. Shall we begin? I shall protect you. Just as I planned. Should have begged for mercy when you had the chance. Stop! What is the meaning of this? I only came here to talk. You must believe me. Talk or fight, the result is the same. You want us to relinquish our freedom. Yes, it is our only recourse if I'm to save my people. Your people? We live in this land as much as you do. Indeed. Would that there were another way. I am sorry. Pray, put down your weapons. There is no harm to be had from hearing us out. 
Lady Frederica, your mother was Lady Orlea, was she not? Yes. Just as your people did, she fled from Hyzant, after which she found refuge in Esfrost. The people of my village bear much love for her. For that, and for that only, I shall lend an ear to your words. is unenviable indeed. However, I must deny your request. Pray reconsider. There is too much at stake here to make a decision in haste. The future of House Wolfort rests on your shoulders. We sheltered your people in their time of need, a favor we now ask you to return in kind. We owe House Wolfort our lives, tis true, and I appreciate your candor. But to return to Hyzant would be to spell our doom. I cannot ask the others to make such a sacrifice. We would ensure that Hyzant does no harm to you, or your people. Apologies, my lady, but you are in no position to be making such promises. Else we would not be having this conversation. But... I... You have the right of it, and for that, I am sorry. However, I implore you to look to the future. Hyzant will stop at nothing to see you return to the Source. That much is plain. If they were to decide we were no longer of use, they would crush us and attack this village shortly after. However, if we were to gain the trust of Hyzant's most powerful, then we would be better positioned to see all the Roselle saved. And how much suffering would be made to endure until that day came. How many of us would fall? The future may look bright from your position, but we are not accustomed to such lofty heights. Jerome, please. Enough, Lord Saranawa. He clearly isn't interested in listening to reason. We've got other ways of making him cooperate, though. The sun has set, but on the morrow this matter will be decided, one way or the other. If you would stoop to force us from our homes, we will not be made to leave without a fight. No, it will not come to that. We'll find a way that makes every party satisfied. Please just allow us to speak further. My lord, I am not deaf to your pleas. In fact, I often dream of the day when we can leave this humble village and walk the city's streets without fear. However, Returning to the Source would mean sacrificing what little pride we have. What little life we have. But your dream could be made reality. We would fight to see you free. And then how long would we dream in servitude of the day you won it? Jerome, you said my mother's name before. Were you well acquainted with her? I was not, unfortunately. My parents, however, often spoke at length of her inspiring leadership at the time of the uprising. Without her, my people would have never made it alive to see the Wolfort domain. I never knew. I only heard that she fled Hyzant. Not that she had such an instrumental role in the fight for your freedom. She was a strong woman, in both body and mind. Legend has it, she carved a farewell scar into the statue of the goddess. The statue that towers over the source? I've never heard that story. Of course you haven't. Hyzant would never let such blasphemy leave their borders. But we saw it with our own eyes. And so, the story lives on. Lady Orlea roused our people to action with these words, it is told. The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. 
the blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. The true goddess? What blessing does she speak of? Would that I knew. The others tired of fighting and parted from Lady Orlea to lead a quiet life. A safe life. Tis a decision some still regret to this day. Perhaps that blessing would have given us the means to topple Hyzant's tyranny. It isn't too late to get to the truth of the matter. Tell us what you know of this blessing, and we'll help you find it. You mean to say you believe the story? Those were simply words used to ignite the fire of a desperate people. Isn't it at least worth considering? Lord Serenoa, I'm sorry. I've told you all I know. Now, night has come and we must rest. For we know not what the morrow shall bring. Jerome, wait! I see now you do not stand atop lofty heights. You struggle just as we do for any scrap of salvation. Leave him be. It seems our survival cannot be bought without sacrifice. Indeed. All the more reason not to resort to violence. Do not lose heart, my lord. You may be head of our house, but we all share the burden of consequence for our decisions. If blood is to be shed, then we shed it together. In this, we are of one resolve. We mustn't resort to anything dire yet. I shall try to make Jerome see reason. Yes, my lord. Groveling in the dirt. I suspect we've all been brought so low. Is it true that a Rosellan village exists within the borders of the Woolfort Domain? It is, though I have never been. Lord Simone granted asylum to the Roselle who fled the source. Then an acquaintance of Lady Orlea's is sure to be among them. Perhaps a visit is in order. I've only the faintest memories of her now. She was my father's mistress and a Rosellen. She shared the history of her people with me when I was a boy. The details escape me now, of course. How unexpected. I did not believe you cared a whit for lineage. Else you might have thought twice about using your own sister as a bargaining chip. Ha. Huh. And so you object. Why? On the grounds that you too are a sister? Do you believe you are worth more than your brothers, who gave their lives trying to free you? I'm worth a damn sight more than the man before me, who toys with the weak to feed his own ego. Well, well. Clearly, I've underestimated you. I may be powerless, but I am not weak, and I would endeavor to change the former. That will do. Frederica feels the same, no doubt. She takes after her mother that way. I should sleep with one eye open, lest you turn on me next. Huh. Speaking of, tis time we retired. The hour is late. Come, Cordelia. Very well.
What are you doing out here alone? Sleep eludes me. I take it you've had no better luck than I. I... I must find a way to move Jerome to my way of thinking ere the sun rises. You've changed, my friend. You've grown. And in such a short time. You are the natural lord of your house. Even in these trying times. Jerome leads his people well, too. The depth of his loyalty to them is plain to see. Even Minister Exham acts with duty and purpose. And in his own way, so does Gustadolf. Whether it be for your ambition, for your country, or for your people, you all act with hearts unclouded by doubt. And what of me? A whelp with delusions of vengeance, fumbling to make my meager wishes a reality. All the while, my sister and my subjects suffer, and I am helpless to offer them succor. There is naught I can do but hide behind this mask and take what comfort I can from the company of friends. I am lost. Roland, I realize times are difficult. But you're too hard on yourself. You bear the heaviest burden of us all. Nonsense. You share the same burden as I. The lives of many rest on our decisions. Aye, that is true. But so it is with those who would lead. Yet, this time, the only path I can offer Jerome is one of hardship. I understand. However, I believe there is no man who intentionally sets out to harm another. And there is no man who is glad to serve at another's beck and call. Yet the wounded and the conquered exist in droves. The powerless are made to serve the powerful. To be tormented at their whims. Such has it ever been. Perhaps it's the way of the world. Perhaps it will twist and distort until it is so, to thwart our efforts to the contrary. No. We aren't as helpless as you think. We are bound by naught but our own will, and the barbarity of the past can be brought to an end. We will bring it to an end. Not just for the benefit of our own house, but for the good of all. So that the tragedy unfolding in this village never repeats. Well said. My apologies for being so maudlin. If there is indeed a path to a better world, we shall find it. Together. Might I join you? Jerome, how long were you standing there? Long enough, but you needn't worry. While I am surprised the prince yet lives, I shall keep the news to myself. What interests me more deeply, however, is this path to a better world. How do you propose to find it, Lord Saranoa? I haven't figured that part out quite yet. I know that it will forever remain hidden if we let it, however. Jerome, this I swear to you now. House Wolfort will never draw steel against you and yours. I believe you, but I also believe that no amount of words will convince us to leave this place. And if we stay here, then you will have forsaken your duty to the Hierophant. Even if it comes to that, we will not resort to force. <sighs> that is heartening indeed. I believe I have taken my measure of you two, and I do not find myself wanting. I shall gather the other villagers in the morning, then we shall talk openly. Thank you, Jerome. Tis too early to thank me, my lord. I cannot speak as to how the discussions will conclude. However, I shall do all in my power to bring us to a conclusion that avoids bloodshed.
House Wolfort and the Roselle arrive at a fragile understanding through fraught and often heated negotiations. The Roselle naturally refused to return to the source. Serenoa, wishing to avoid seeing the Roselle repatriated by force, convinces their young leader Jerome to meet the next morning for further discussion. No one has come. Tis strange indeed. We spread word that all were to meet at first light. Let us wait a moment longer. The foul weather is surely the source of their delay. Even so, I expected to find at least one person here when I arrived. I shall see for myself what keeps them. Jerome! You must help us! House Telior lays waste to the village as I speak! What? Liar! How dare you deceive us! I swear to you, this is not my doing. Come, we have to put a stop to this! Silvio, what do you think you're doing? Helping? The Roselle left me no choice when they refused to comply. <sighs> Surely they will accept their fate once they see the consequences of their defiance. This is House Wolfort's sovereign land. Cease this senseless slaughter at once! So it is. For now. But what will become of it when I inform Hyzant of your treachery? I shudder to think of how the Holy One will respond upon hearing you cast your lot with the Roselle. Duh. It's pissing down like a drunkard. Can we just kill them already? Hear that? Your time is up, Lord Serenoa. You've played the hero long enough. We shall take the Roselle by force. I trust you've spoken your piece. No, not quite. I won't see the Roselan people forced from their homes. Let us show House Tellior how we greet invaders of the Wolfort Domain. <laughs> what? Lord Serenoa, you would fight for us? Of course. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. Holy One's order or not, we have no intention of raising arms against the Roselle. We don't. Someone with less compassion their heart might have. Serenoa. I, I cannot thank you enough. Let me fight alongside you. Fools! I knew you would dare to disobey the Holy One's commands! <laughs> Looks like this job just got more interesting. What do you want me to do, Silvio? Kill them, Rufus. Kill them all if you must. All right. But just so you know, full service don't come cheap. Block off all paths out of the village. You want a bloodbath? You'll have one. See where your idiotic ideals get you in the afterlife, Sarah Noah Wolfort.
at once! already cut off our retreat. There's only one way to protect the village. Defeat every last enemy. We must end this here. I see a path to victory. This must work. Time to work. You won't catch me. Victory is mine! You'll be fun to kill. Shall we dance? Think you can catch me? Dance, you poison! Bastard. I shan't hold that. That must have hurt. You can't save yourself! This is nothing! I just have to kill these nuisances. House Tellior's place will be secured. Never thought you had it in you to pull up your britches and fight for your house. For victory! Strikes true. Ah. Here I come. You get no mercy from us. Defeat is not an option. Ah, ah, just you for you. bastard! You poor thing. I will end this. With the powers ah. in me. Die. But maybe it's better than living. Yeah, that's it. Cool heads shall prevail. Victory goes to the pit. How gracious. Oh, yes, just like that. Just you wait. Yeah. I stand ready. Out of my way! <clears throat> there is no mercy on the battlefield. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that did it! Victory is within reach. Sweet. Victory is within reach. I shan't hold back. Prepare to take this! Shall we dance? You won't know up from down. Like as that must have hurt. For victory! The hunt is on. Oh, this battle is won. A wasted effort. 
I see right through you. Defeat is not an option. <laughs> I will end this. Two ashes. Prepare to die. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. Got it. Let us pry out their weakness. Fresh. Shall we begin? Make the most of this. I stand ready. Out is mine. Ah! Your orders. Ha! This is the end. I shall protect you. Behold. I am at your back! Let's play. The Dawn Spear. Farewell. I I can't die. Someone, anyone, help me. I will end this. Where shall we strike? There is my turn. Too obvious. Close, but not quite. Not this time. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. I can keep fighting. Are you in need? That went well. Your orders? Allow me. Yeah. Choices, choices. The hunt is on. Darkness engulfs you. I won't lose. It ends here. There is no mercy on the battlefield.
I fight for peace. I shall protect you. Prepare yourself! From where shall we strike? Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are good. That was most welcome. I will end this. Yes, victory is within reach. Allow victory is within reach. I stand ready. Guard. Time to take flight. You win. Choices, choices. You won't know up from down. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Charge! Let me show you what I've learned. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear! With a single blow! It ends I am at your back! Your orders? For the honor of House Wolfort. Cool heads shall prevail. Make the most of this. I can do it! <sighs> My time has come. I see a path to victory. Your defense is weak for victory! Choices, choices. Think you can catch me? The hunt is on. I will end this. With the powers in me. Time to work. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. It ends here. Wonderful. Just wonderful. A dead man can't pay me my dues. Will you seek your vengeance for him upon us? Huh. Not for free, I won't. Besides, I ain't gotta lift a finger. You lot are finished. Silvio sent word to the others ages ago, telling them House Wolfort disobeyed orders. What? The Hyzantians will be here any minute now. I'd wish you good luck fighting them, but all the luck in the realm won't save you now. Shall I kill him? No, let him go. He's not but a mercenary. In any case, our main concern is the Byzantine forces. 
They charged us with this mission as a test of House Wolfort's loyalty. If they suspect we cannot be brought to heel, they will set upon us with the full might of the Holy State. And we cannot hope to win against their armies. I know that. There's nothing else left for us to do. Nothing but to fight and die. Do not abandon hope yet. We must find some way of surviving this together. There is no such way, my lord. No. There is one. We go to Hyzaid. We trust House Wolfort. Huh. Have you lost your wits, Jerome? You've seen for yourself, haven't you? Wolfort has never abandoned the Roselle. Not 30 years ago, and not now. They defied the Holy One and fought to defend us. It may take some time, but as long as House Wolfort stands, there's hope for our freedom yet. We'll just have to hold out under Hyzant's thumb until then. I see no other way for our people to survive. My mind's made up. I'll trust Wolfort, like Jerome says. Then I shall do the same. That's right, the key! Find Lady Orlea's key in our stead. That'll secure our freedom. I just know it! Is this truly what you wish to do? Whatever Hyzant or the Source has in store for us, we can take it. As long as our allies are out there fighting for us, we will never give up hope. And we can trust you to fight for us, can't we, Lord Serenoa? <sighs> Jerome... Of course, I promise you will be free. And we are in your hands. You sure about this, Benedict? I have no qualms doing whatever it takes to avert disaster. Serenoa squarely defeats Silvio and his forces. Jerome and the others are moved by House Wolfort's valiant fight to defend them. But knowing they cannot fight forever, the Roselle decide to place their trust in House Wolfort and agree to relocate to Hyzant. Roselle in tow, Serenoa and his retinue return to the Holy State. We survived, but what consequences must we now pay? Worry not, my lady. I shall relay that Silvio died an honorable death in battle. Hyzant is unlikely to raise any questions, so long as we bring the Roselle back as promised. Indeed, but we must not let Jerome or the others down. They've trusted their fates to us. Of course. If that key they mentioned truly exists, then we can use it as leverage against Hyzant. After House Wolfort's position is secure, that is. We must move faster than that. They cannot be forced to suffer for so long. My lord, Lady Frederica, you have no cause to concern yourselves. I am the one who made the promise, so the responsibility falls upon my shoulders. That isn't the problem. A disgraceful trick. Benedict, I appreciate your motives, but... It is my duty. Leave the villain's role to me. You misunderstand. Words must be followed by action and accepting responsibility. That is the Woolfort way. Is that not the very reason you defend our house? My lord... Whatever the case, we must first report to the palace. 
Let us discuss what we shall do after that. The Holy One has made a decision. The Rozelle have returned to the flock, and for that the Goddess is pleased. Now they may begin to absolve themselves of their sins and gain true salvation. For your service in bringing this deed to pass, the Holy One has judged you worthy of a title most exalted. You are to be welcomed as one of the saintly seven. That is quite the honor. While I cannot argue the courage of Lord Saranoa's deeds, I wonder if this elevation of station is premature. Hmm. Minister Exam, I seem to recall a time not long past when your detractors said the same in regards to you. However, you proved their misgivings to be unfounded, did you not? The Hierophant believes that for Hyzan to prosper, the young must be given the chance to build the foundation for the future. Of course. My apologies for speaking out of turn. I have no words to express my appreciation. The Goddess may rest assured that I shall treat my new title with all the gravity it deserves. The saintly seven are whole once more, and this marks a joyous occasion for all of Hyzant. May the goddess be with you. So, have we earned the goddess's mercy? More than that, in fact. I have been honored with a position as one of the Saintly Seven. After a trying journey, our worries are finally at an end. That is heartening. The decisions we were forced to make to get here. I pray we never have to repeat them. You have my word we never will, Frederica. Good. Then let's return to Castle Wolford. Home at last. It seems congratulations are in order, my friend. The future of your house is secured. After much suffering. That may be so, but you should still hold your head high. Not only have you protected those that serve you, but you have uplifted them to even greater heights. Perhaps, but my rise to power was built on the sacrifices of many. Those sacrifices were made purposeful by your judgment, Saranoa. You've grown to meet the changes fate has brought. Thinking back on the day you first met Frederica, I hardly recognize you now. That day seems so far away now. Would you go back if you could? Back to those carefree days? I don't know. I wouldn't. At first, I would awake every morning with a heavy heart. Images of the peaceful Glenbrook from my dreams lingering in my mind. It was all I could do to simply survive through the day. But our encounter with the Roselle made me realize something. I could no longer live in self-pity. To do so would be to invite a slow and insidious death. I had to make a stand. I had to act. I had to be ready to discard this mask once and for all. My friend, I have a request to make of you, selfish as it may be. Aid me in my fight against Esfrost. I want you by my side when I see the Archduke laid low. <sighs> 
Of course. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our Elfric to House Wolfort. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the Hierophant determined it a good chance to test them in the field. They could easily sink in as Frosty's ship or two. And yet I see not a trace of a smile on you. I never wanted to build weapons for war. <laughs> Yet you don't think twice about toying with human life. How ironic. How dare you! Have a wonderful day. The audacity of Edor's dog. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Sikris's missive is to be believed, I am afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is bold to have carried out his plan this far. We mustn't forget the matter of the explosion cited in the Wolford Domain. We must make his precious death snell ours, and soon. Death snell? What's that? Let the adult speak, my dear. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thallus. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by a Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steelcraft. Although yet to be tested, this cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzon's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single blast. But the shield is impregnable. I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory as and when I commend it. <sighs> Svarog's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon against Brother. But the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the strings guiding his every deed. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. The cannon could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's research. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Esfrost. Sadly, he shall not live to see his work completed. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield before Esfrost's might and ingenuity. If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward with not else to leverage their influence with, they will take measures to see that none of their precious salt escapes their borders. There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erika, muster of force, and march to the Hierophant's palace at once. 
delivered to Hyzant my final demands. As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the Saintly Seven's machinations. Thalus, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself as if I had never left. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. Even his own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when their purpose is served. He has faith only in himself. Such has ever been his way. Now, let us commence the Congress of Saints. I believe Minister Saranoa had an issue to bring to the Collective. Thank you, Minister Edor. It concerns the trade embargo. This is a plain show of aggression from Esfrost. They mean to weaken us before they strike. That is why we must crush them before they do. I would ask for my pleas to be heard by the Goddess. This is not a matter to be taken lightly, my lord. Esfrost's declaration was a surprise, to be sure. But without salt, Esfrost's people will suffer. If they refuse trade, we shall oblige them until they see reason. Let them have their futile posturing. Apologies for my boldness, but I must urge you to treat this situation with gravity. The Archduke is no fool. There is doubtless an ulterior motive behind this embargo. Is that so? Such as? I believe his aim is to crush his enemies in one swift assault, just as in the Salt Iron War. Isfra's army would again stoop to such skullduggery? As if our memories are so short. Isfrost and Glenbrook tried the same, at once declaring war and attacking our sacred city. But history remembers their failure. They sacrificed their honor in vain, as their assault proved impotent against the goddess's shield. Defeat quickly followed. Indeed, and Gustadov's memory is as long as anyone's. He would not try again, unless he had a means to bypass the goddess's shield, which I believe now he has. You cannot mean they're explosives. The very technology researched by Dragan to aid in mining. I had never considered it could be used in warfare, but the idea is not beyond imagining. I see. It is clear that to ignore this possibility would be folly. What measure would you suggest we take, Minister Cerno? I would bring the fight to Esfrost. Strike first while their plan is yet in its infancy. The Archduke is bold because he commands the strength of Glenbrook. If the Wolfort forces were to take the capital, he would lose that foothold and be forced to retreat. All I require is the leave of the Holy One. A daring plan, Minister Saranoa. Let us suppose you did win back Glenbrook. Who then would rule over its people? Will you leave Cordelia, assuming she still lives, to sit on the throne as queen? All reports indicate she is naught but a puppet of Esfrost. We would suffer her rule at her own peril. And if House Wolfort were to assume the throne, they would be decried as usurpers. A troubling complication indeed. I believe I can present your solution. For you see, the second prince of Glenbrook yet lives. And he stands before you now. Impossible. Esfras trumpets your death across the realm. Another deception, it would seem. There can be no mistaking those features. I shall take the seat of power in Glenbrook and pledge allegiance to Hyzant. Oh, 
Would that every council of the Seven were this eventful. For the Prince of Glenbrook to drive Esfrost from his ancestral home, I can imagine no greater justice. But what do you make of this, Your Holiness? Do you find Lord Wolfort's proposition to be a wise one? Understood, Your Holiness. Lord Wolfort, Prince Roland, the goddess has hearkened to your plea and has passed down her judgment. You are to have the full support of Hyzant and her people. Lay Estfrost low and drive back the discord that threatens to engulf Nozelia. If there is aught you require, you need only ask. Her servants are at your complete disposal. Grand Constable Roland, Lord Wolfort of the Seven, walk with courage and smite thine enemies. The Goddess shall be at your back. We shall bring her glory. For Hyzant. There is much preparation to be done. Together, we shall bring an end to Esfrost's hubris.